Hello everyone, this is Milloon45. Today, subject, what well, I got today, subject, balloons. Hopefully, top ten. As we know, balloons are used for weather research, advertising, entertainment, mainly entertainment, but there's one more little thing. They are used to have good old clean fun with. Not to, well, even weather balloons can be used to have great fun. You can't just use them for research anymore, you know. <laughs> you have some of them, we, some of them I know, in a tan color that are it gets so big when they're inflated and they get weaker. They thin out something fierce. You just you inflate it a good deal, it wobbles like gelatin and all. Even your biggest white latex balloons do that too. But they're a little tougher than the tan. Well, if, that, if that's tan latex, then I think it might be neoprene. However, White latex is tough, but then you have something made like a weather balloon, but it's made as an outdoor display balloon, chloroprene. <coughs> it comes in a fair variety of colors, but you haven't seen black. I've seen them almost all the colors. I've bought a few of them before, but right now all I have are the Basic colors, or primary, you want to call it basic or primary colors. But you also have your five foot or four foot advertising balloons. However, you do not see those late that type of latex balloon here anymore. Qualitex made the last four and five foot latex balloons for advertising years ago. I'm lucky to have at least two of them plus one plane. And going down the line now back to the weather balloons now. One I have obtained from Germany. It's a rather odd weather balloon. It might be a tan but it's real latex. It's not like uh, yeah, I mean, it's actual latex. It doesn't soften or stretch. It stretches out, but it doesn't soften up while stretching out. Ooh. And then you have your other shapes. You have your snowman or doll shape made in either Germany or <sighs> Austria. Then you have a 24-inch, supposedly rated 24-inch, made in South America. Then you've got one made by, I think, Rifco, well, or Catex. It's what they call the pillar. Some of the, and another rare balloon I have, or balloons, are the Tillies. That company disappeared three years ago. All their stock has been sold. I managed to get what I can of it. Also, I've seen in some shops bondage balloons. One in this video is a half-flat airship design, not a long neck. Then you got another one that's a huge round paddle shape. I would say 80 or 90 inch. Those guys are expensive. Go further. Well, what you got? One looks like an uh, enema bottle. Made in Italy, of course. Hey, it's made with made that way so you can tie the balloons. And the best weather balloon I have is the 1,200 gram one. They are bigger out there, but they're hard to obtain. Now, as for uh, top 10, you might say these are my top 10. But it's kind of hard to say which is number one in my book. I have no favorites, sorry to say. They're all great balloons. Really. Alone. Or uh, <laughs> what I think is neoprene, tan latex, 
That one, I don't play with too much. Chloroprene? Well, that's a tough one. No, this is Bill Monroe. Enjoy your balloons to the fullest. You know I do. Hmm, definitely.